What's up y'all? This is Profile Hitting and welcome to Drill the Week. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and Hitting Drill of the Week where we make success tangible for you. Okay, so this time we're gonna be working on pelvic control and not feeling like we're falling as we stride. Okay, so it's really, really important for us to be able to control that, not feel like we're jumping, not feel like we're attacking the stride, right? So this will really, really help you be able to feel it kind of in, in your big controlling muscles and just feeling that pelvic control so we're not falling. So there's a couple different variations. We're gonna do four drills this time, okay, to kind of build there and each one of them has a swing, okay? So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna get back here, explain it, let's go. Okay, so for this one, you're either gonna need a mound or you could you can do this dry on, on like a driveway or, or anything that's kind of got a little bit of elevation to it okay so the big concept here right is we're going to strike down do two things there then we're going to stride up and do two things there so the big thing with that is you really want to feel like we're not falling forward okay the tendency is if you're not used to having control of your movements right and you're not in your heel Right, a lot of times, like, so if you get, you start here, then you get here, the tendency with this, if my weight is solely in the, my toes, right, the tendency is to come here, and then just re, just as a reflex, the, the toe is gonna push us forward, and kind of, sometimes it'll make us come up, sometimes it'll make a, us push, okay? So this is a really good way to kind of help control it. So first thing when you're doing this, try to feel the weight in your heels, right? So we've kind of done some things like that to kind of get you used to that feeling. If you're not used to those, go watch those after this video to kind of stay in your heel and how to learn how to do that, okay? So for first thing is we're gonna hold that heel, right? Then we're gonna hold our chest with our abs, like, like act like you're getting punched, like a boxer getting punched. Like right here, holding it with that kind of control, okay? A lot of people fall, right? But now with us making it challenging, right? Now we can really focus on that control and not falling, okay? So you wanna, you wanna check, are your kneecaps by your foot, not outside of your foot, and are your, make sure your hips aren't swinging. Swing, swing, swing from the table side. One way or the other, swinging back or swinging forward, right? Because if I swing back, then it's gonna have a, an, a, an inverse reaction, right? Which is gonna swing this way, okay? So this will really help. So the first part, so you can get back here, Okay, I'm gonna get ready, and I'm gonna get here, I'm gonna pause, okay? The reason for the pause is you check to make sure, hey, am I too far forward here? And we do the pause to kind of learn how we're doing it, right? So do this a couple times, right? So if I get here, I'm gonna realize that, right? If I'm here, I'm gonna be able to feel that with the squat. So that's why we incorporate that in here, okay? So we're gonna do the pause, squat a little bit, swing. Then we'll go to one, where we just go there and swing. So all the while, control, 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 control. Okay, so here's the pause. So hold, check, swing. Okay, so now we're gonna do full speed. Okay, get here, control, don't fall. Right, that's the big thing is we don't wanna fall. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip it around, okay? And we're gonna go up the hill. So now we can, now we're not just doing this, so, cause that's kinda closer to what we normally do, right? So now we're gonna be able to feel that, but then also getting into both of our legs to be able to use it. Okay, I'm gonna flip it around. So again, we're gonna go, we're gonna do this, right? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go up the mound, Pause, check, am I too far here? My hips out, my hips out, where are my kneecaps? Then swing, then full swing, okay? Start here, okay? Stride, little squat, come back to normal, swing. Okay, now we're just gonna do a regular swing. Let's get here. There, okay, so this really just allows you to tangibly check where am I at, but challenges you going up and then challenges you going down. Okay, so those will really, really help. Let us know in the comments how it's going for you, it's gonna help.
pelvic control is absolutely vital to any hitter that is elite or any hitter that wants to be elite. You've got to be consistent with that. We've got to get away from jumping or attacking with the toes, right? We've got to get it to where we're controlled and really we've got to get to where our mind doesn't think about it, right? We can't be thinking, how's my stride? How's this? We can't be thinking about that, right? It's got to be smooth and repeatable, whatever it is, right? Some guys may be a little bit more 60-40, some guys may be a little bit more 40-60, like whatever it is, okay? But you've got to get to a point where you're not thinking about it. And we've got to have control so then we have easy space to work and finish okay that's what this will help you with and keep liking this commenting it and sharing it we love we're loving the feedback appreciate that subscribe so, so success can keep being made tangible for you and of course so i can see you in the next video